Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Sometimes we struggle to find the missing link, if you will, in our lives. Something is missing, and we just might walk through life in a funk, lamenting this empty spot. But for those who are in Christ, knowing God is the missing link and what can transform our lives and relationships with others. Reading today in the book of 1 John, chapters 1 through 3, and it's 1 John 1, verse 4, our verse of the day. These things we write so that our joy may be made complete. Reading in a bit more context, starting with verse 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our own eyes, which we looked upon and have touched with our hands, concerning the word of life, the life was made manifest, and we have seen it and testified to it and proclaimed to you the eternal life which was with the Father and was made manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard we proclaim also to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us, and indeed our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And we are writing these things so that our joy may be complete." In this letter, John tells us about relationships and the need for man to have a relationship with God. We all search for that person to complete us, but we are complete in Christ. Perfect joy is found as we understand the salvation God offers, accept it, and walk in relationship with our Maker. This will also impact our relationships with others. I chose the word complete. It is the Greek word pleroho, and it means to fill, fill to the brim. Thought of the day, don't look to relationships to complete you. God already did. Application, let your relationship with God flourish within you and impact those around you. When we are full in Christ, we can help others around us to be complete and full too, living the abundant life Christ promised us. Go with God and His precious word, friends. Tune in tomorrow as we head back into the book of Deuteronomy.